I dream about playing basketball at the Special Olympics. I was born in America, Colorado. I saw my dog, Robo, Tommy Cat, Shadow. Rallable training in tomorrow yeah. by yourself. Yeah. Oh, congratulations for that all yourself. Yeah. You are super good ever. Thank you, sweetie. You all get a different bus. Walked to package yeah. ever in my life. Thank you, sweetie. You are super good ever. Uh, thank you, sweetie. And then one thing. What? You have to watch your diet. I, I want to talk about, I don't want to talk about, I, want I don't you, want you to... I want you, you have to watch your diet, your parents said to you. Judy, stop it. You have to do it for me. How about you? I told my dad. I don't um, watch my diet ever in my life. Stop. I, I'm stop. eating the five foods, so you have to watch your healthy food. Don't talk to my mom. <laughs> and then um, you have to do it. Aye? Right? No. I'll tell you when to shoot, okay? Ready? Go, go, go. Shoot! How about me? I lost in the phone stone. Yeah. You lost about six, I think it was six pounds, I think you've lost so far. Actually, she's lost like quite a bit of weight, I've noticed. This is just. So that way, you can come downstairs and you can see in every category, like with breads, with fruit and vegetables, with dairy, like milk and cheese and yogurt. You can have stuff that is kind of fatty. Coconut milk, olive oil, peanuts, dark chocolate. Even dad needs to lose weight. Definitely. So, And dad wants to lose weight. Dad wants to be a part of it. We all want to do this for ourselves and you, to help you mainly though. Okay, because it's all about you right now. Losing weight, getting fit, and being ready for the Special Olympics. I didn't really see her as having a disability because she was more of a friend and a sister to me than anything else. We would just run around and play Barbie and just laugh together and play together and everything. But when I really actually thought about her having a disability once was like when she kind of went off by herself and met her own friends and stuff and we'd always kind of stuck together. It's kind of like you, me and Amanda was stuck together and then when we went to the St. Joseph's, we kind of had our own little groups because we were in different like classes and stuff. So it kind of hit me then that she had an actual disability. Never seemed like it though before. Sometimes it still doesn't because she's just as able as we are, has the same emotions, everything. And she laughs at the same things we do and does all the same things we do and has her own life and everything. So, Amanda's, uh, she'll always be like one of my best friends. Coming up to the Special Olympics, she's been training um, pretty much every, almost every day. Shoot, she has, like goes out in the back, she shoots the basketball around, you know, she dribbles and stuff. Uh, my dad will help her out, and we always take turns at helping her out and stuff. And, uh, you know, we got her on a diet, trying to help her to lose weight, because she has gained a little bit of weight, but that can be lost. That's fantastic, I love Good girl. One more, please. She always, always has loved to sing. Always she'd be, like, singing into a Barbie doll or a hairbrush or something and going around the house, singing along and stuff. I could sometimes walk into a room and she'd have whole like characters and backgrounds and everything. And there's always an argument with the dolls that she was playing with. There was always some kind of drama. <laughs> then when we came over from America, um, it was a new change for all of us. We all went to the same school called uh, St. Joseph's, uh, Tivoli Road in Dunleary. 
it was it was a good thing because Amanda finally got to experience interaction with other people who had the same disability as her and it was finally good to see that she could have friends and it's not that people who, without the disability you know wouldn't be friends with her it was just the case that they didn't know how to be friends with her but it was just a good thing for her you know she and from from that point when we moved over she's had nothing but a good life my mom came in and um, sat on the chair opposite me and um, I asked her what was wrong because she did a big sigh and um, she told me that Mark had asked her to marry her and asked me how much a wedding dress was. Yeah, if Amanda was to get married, I'd really love that. I'd love to see her get married and be so happy and to see her with a big smile on her face. And what would make me happier to see her happy. Yeah, I, I told her that I want to look over the wrong way. She, 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 she said yes. That's okay. That's okay for. Uh, that's okay that's for. Okay doing. Yeah, with that. Now my heart is telling me I want to be with someone else now. No, you got me now. Yeah, and I'll pick you now. We're getting ready for marriage in the three best men and the best women, uh, best mates women. And then um, we get married and then um, we will on. So then um, going to the park and we'll get a lot of photographs together. And then um, after that, we'll have the barbecue with food for everybody who comes in and food together. And it'll be lovely. When I saw the light and I heard the music, I felt like I'm a pop star. While I'm on the stage, my, fam my family went, my friends, my boyfriend saw me on the stage and he, he was upset with that. Everybody heard that when I'm leaving. And that's why we started celebration for me and, uh, me and Rob and Nicola going away in June. That's why I won't see, see my friends. We don't know until we get to Athens what standard of basketball we're going to be up against, how many teams from around the world are there, um, what standard they are, because everybody will bring a random selection. We could be one of the better teams, we could be one of the weaker teams. But I think an even bigger challenge is for some of the athletes is going to be being away from home. For some of them, other than the nights that they have spent in residential camps with us and a few nights in Limerick, at the Ireland Games. This is the first time they really have been away from home in the sense that they're away from family as well and friends. And very, very happy with how they're gelling. It's going to be important. They're going to be in each other's company for over two weeks, day and night. It would be very important that they get on together. The way things have gone so far, I'm very happy. And hopefully it'll keep on like that. Amanda has jumped a huge amount. Her fitness level, is dramatically increased. She's much more able to keep going and stay up with, with the team play. Hopefully she'll keep this up and it'll stand to her in Athens. Always someone is tough luck with that. <laughs> I don't want to talk about how old Wayne. Kind of it, it's a bit hard there. Well, it, it, it's my clothes because I had to pack because I'm going away tomorrow and I had to play basketball with my teammates and I got a lot of stuff in there. My uniform for basketball, my shoes, my runners, I need my bags, my jammies, knickers and bra, I do not know I need it. Shampoo, I need it. 
Last year, McCarthy went to the the Olympic last year. He he's all, he's always been there with me, cause he's not going to Athens, but he he didn't pick, but I did, but he didn't. So he has stayed here with his family. That's why. It really upset to her. I want to do this for us. Okay. 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 I'll hope for the smile as well. Don't do it. I'm still going to Come on. Smile. I will say that you go up there and say goodbye. I want to say goodbye. I want to say goodbye before she goes. Before she goes to the top. The hip. Then no one else did. Well, um, but this is my last time seeing my family, but because it, it, it's really hard on everybody because my dad, my sister, my, 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 my brother, they are really, really proud of me. I'm excited because I, I'm happy. Cause I, because I'm sorry that I'm happy because kind of I was happy and was sad but I, I'm okay with that but I'm not I'm not nervous but I am really really nervous um this is my first time I go to Antons with my friends um I'm in this this meadow before I'm um, in this meadow, my mom, my granny, my grandma as well, and they are up to heaven, and they are happy for me then. up 
so that's a good sign like very very proud of them they played very well they're in a very tough division it's the first time Ireland has ever made the top division uh, and we knew it was going to be tough but the achievement in getting there and in playing as well as they did and I'm very very proud of them someone dropped out and my seven man they got picked and we got to the world games we were playing for Ireland our own country Many people won't get there here, and they love to get here. We're me, Manda, and Marie, and Eileen are sharing a room together. Or we're washing our clothes, <laughs> hanging them out. And when you're down, Manda, put a smile on your face. No. <laughs> She's always a happy woman. Here and now on the Tuesday, we've had redivisioning because of um, the difficulties that the girls had in the the last couple of uh, couple of games against Russia, uh, the organisers have decided to read the vision. Been a bit difficult today because of uh, the national strike that's out here. There's no public transport, so people have had to fire cars out for the car. Others have, uh, have managed to get taxis. So here's the situation. First match in the new division against Italy. So here's hoping. two very tough games against Russia and uh, Australia. Today we're really coming on in leaps and bounds and at the moment it's 10 all so let's hope for a win here today. We're looking for you now, right? We're going to be looking for you. Just take them on, you can take them on. Now the lads, we can do this, okay? Relax into the game, let's go and enjoy the game now, right? Let's go and enjoy this game, right? Let's play the way, let's show everybody here how we, well we can play. I was also uh, very fortunate to be able to come over because I had work and everything, but I managed to make it over for the last few games, so, you know, I'm like, uh, it's really exciting, you know, and stuff, so it's just great to be here. We went to the shopping, I uh, bought clothes, he helped me pick the sweets, so I was my friend to have, he, when we have, I got sweets, so everybody. Oh, look. Irish. I think they might be gonna they might give her one for free. They might do. They got a lot of dresses here. <laughs> A lot, huh, Amanda? Yeah. You like this kind of shop? Yeah. Loads of dresses. 
Amanda's favorite kind of thing, yeah? Yep. Very nice. <coughs> Gift for you. Aww. Mm -hmm. Can you say Eferesto? <laughs> what I mean? It means thank you in Greek. Thank you. Now, we're going to cross the road so we can look at some sweets. What's this one? Mm, lots of sweets. Ah, yeah, lots of them. I love that. Look, he's making a noise, look. Bye bye. We have to get up for sex or have sex, and we have to get ready for the basketball match by tomorrow. We have to win this this game, but it's really important inside inside my heart. I have to do this. And again, come on, Ellie. Well done, guys. Well done, Terry. Let's go. Well done. Oh! Amanda McAllister, Laura Mangan, Bridget O'Reilly.